kwa majina anaitwa Paul Paul Mwema from Kiambu uh, I have my wife here anaitwa Aida Hello my name is Aida Aida Arunga from Luanda and this is my husband he's called Paul Mwema Naweza sema ile siku nilimuona nilikuwa nimeenda kwa ofisi yao kuna mashini wao wanatengeneza zinaitwa ya conditioners actually tulikuwa tumeinstall nikaachia my guys wa malizie mimi nikaenda Mombasa but vile waliweka ilibidi sasa ni nirudi nyuma nilirekebisha shida ilikuwa hapo so when he, when we were there doing the installation wao hawakuwa wameingia na no, nasosi kuwa na mzua but when i came back nilipata sasa the f- full house iko set set ndio sasa yeye alikuwa reception so na idea ana to receive actually by that time my focus was work not someone so mimi nikafika hata si kuongea na yeye sana ndio nilikuwa na nafanya na, 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 na flight ya saa tisa Mombasa and So nikakuza nikarekebisha mashini yangu na nikamwachia my contacts. Unaona? So from there wakati nimeradi Mombasa it was on ilikuwa inelekea weekend. So on weekend uh, weekends huwa wafanyi kazi. So when they came back on Monday wakalia now the machine but it has another problem. So she called me and i came back so when i came back mimi nikamwambia okay nimerekebisha saa hii kwa sawa na mimi nikatoka nikaenda actually mimi na sikuwa nataka kumwanga atakuwa tunaangaliana sana mimi nilikuwa naongea naye nikiwa kwa mlango unaona juka alikuwa kasiana kadogo na hiyo nilikuwa nimekula mimi kiasi si kama saa hii mimi nikarudi nikaenda zangu yeah so from there i was heading to na manga just another day now after like three weeks hivi unaona so aka text one of my guy tulikuwa na yeye tukiwa kaziado akamwambia amekwama anaomba kitu kidogo na sasa yule jumi anategemea mimi huyo kijana akaniambia hiyo story na mimi nika come through nikamjenga so tatu <laughs> na namba yangu ni kama yeye hapo ndio alizua hapa di, hapa ndio the source. Si ni kweli. So tukamaliza kazi yado, kulikuwa na kazi tulikuwa nafanya kazi yado, then tuelekea na manga. So on the way akatuma text, no now I'm driving, I cannot reply. Kufika na manga, tukaenda tukamaliza kazi na nikam text back. Hapo ndio ka conversation kalianza kidogo kakaendelea mpaka saa nane ya usiku hapo hivyo huo false true na hapo ndio tulianza kuchat na yeye to an extent akaniambia and tukasikizana to meet again i know the office office mali alikuwa so kwake sijui nikampatia the date yeye nafaa kwenda kumuona so si mimi nikaenda nikaenda nikampick No it is, it is started this way after to rehearse ku chat ile siku nilikuwa niende kwa hiyo ofisi kuenda akakuwa kwa nyumbani kwake kwenye alikuwa anaishi akanielezea mara anaishi ni huko Kawangwale so mimi wakati na drive nikielekea hiyo Kawangwale kuna mahali barabara ilikuwa inatengenezwa wa kufika napata jambo iko hivi na mimi nataka kumiti atensema haka kadem by that time nikarudi tena gong road nikaenda kwa gola inaitwa 46 ama 56 huko juu nikatafuta mm. jia mpaka nikamfikia wacha kunyeshe but ni make na nikafika mahali alikuwa ni huko na matatu gari yangu ilikuwa nakaa matatu by that time but si matatu <laughs> <laughs> siko anajua siko anajua magari sana so me i thought ai huyo ameajiriwa ama ni makanga ameiba gari ya wenyewe ni makanga actually me i thought this one is a makanga juu hata vile alikuwa amevaa alikuwa amevaa kwa amevaa truza inakaa 
Mimi uh, uchome picha kwanza ndio uzie mwenye si mwenye nisemu ukweli watu wajue. Jinsi jinsi kimechapa eh kia side pockets. Eh. Na maslipers zingine alikuwa ameparara sana miguu. So your so first day to fake show up uh, sana. Uh, so <laughs> me I thought ni makanga. <laughs> Nikamuuliza ni wewe uko na ile Nissan? Kwanza akacheka alafu akaniambia eh ni mimi. Kawaambia sawa. Wewe pack tu hapo ukuje. Akapack akakuja na watu paka sasa watu walikuwa wameshaanza ku raise eyebrows who is that we've never seen anyone in her house who is that who is that actually me i had told the f uh, people around me baba ya mtoto wangu ako dubai so everyone knew baba ya mtoto ako dubai na sasa juu kaliko kaliko kadogo kaliko kanaka kamzungu hivi very brown so everyone knew that baba yake ni mzungu na ako dubai so siku anataka watu wengi waniulize maswali kuhusu nini 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 hapana because i was going through a lot so i i evaded those questions niwaambia tu babake yako dubai so akaniambia unakuza na mimi sina chakula nitakupikia nini lazima tu useme sitai atuluki sawa sasa akaniambia eh hey, unakuza na mimi sina kitu naweza nikakupikia juzu mimi sina pesa nikamtumia pesa ya kununua chakula unaona hapo tuliruka so niliingia kwa nyumba but ha tuko tunapelekana ya kwa mbele mimi niko niko nyumba niko nyumba sasa mimi nikaanza kufikiria kwani kuna mwingine juu naachwa ai si lazima ujiulize maswali it's my first time siripi nyumba si mimi nalipa kitu cha kwanza Anyway, nikaingia kwa nyumba. Nikafika ni ile session ya kukula. Umeruka. Hmm. Mtoto alikuita nani? Kuingia hivi. Mtoto simjui. Huyu hata siko anamjua, namkumbuka vizuri kwanza. Mtoto nimeingia mtoto ameita dad. Eh, hey, mimi kastuka. <laughs> Asijaingia kawagore tena, imekwazi mimi ni dad huku. Kama mtu mjaja kabidi nicheze chini. Unaona? So, kafika nawe ni ile session ya kukula. Amepakua chakula but yangu peke yangu. Yake yazaeka ya mtoto ajaweka. Kama ijinia, okay na kwa kaijinia bale. Kama ijinia nikakachola. Kama anataka kuniloga, acha niloge na mtoto wake. So nikaanza kukula na mtoto na mtoi wake. But naona hastuki so chakula iko fit mimi nikamuuliza eh hey, na sio kule yeye anatuangalia tu amestuka mtoto ananiita dad kwa siku ya kwanza unaona mm. ni uongo kama ni ukweli sijakata mimi nimekataa sasa afa kanipatia card the kado unajua hii nyumba haijaingia mwanaume ndio maana mtoto anakuita dad juu nimekuwa nikimwambia baba yako atakuja siku moja na mm. mtoto mdogo by that time alikuwa one year one and a half wana dahavi ya mm. ikijana eh nikaona tume click tukaanza kucheza tunaangushana alikuwa mpaka na carpet sijui alikuwa ametoa wapi tunaangushana kwa carpet cheza chini si ni ukweli sawa tunaangushana kwa carpet na yeye kafika mahali akasema akaniuliza kama naweza taka soda nikamwambia eh unajua ni nzizi boy na ile pesa wanitumia iliisha Sasa mimi niko na pesa sio kopi. Kusaidi ponyo. Nikachukua kadhao. Shika. Akaenda kwa shop. Akaleta change na mwambie you just keep change. Bana nitaisha bet ni suchukua. Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo kuna nitaka. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa nanipatia pesa ovyo ovyo. Vitu vingine ni kama remote. Nikuuliza sasa uko na TV pale, si ndio? Uh. Na uko na remote hapa. Uh ona hiyo connection ya kuhakisha ile remote uh, hapa uh, ni nini you had already fallen in love just hakuna mwanaume anatoanga pesa tu hivi hivi wakati tu mtoto alimuita dadi bas mimi nisema huyu ni bwana yangu <laughs> na simuachili ngo hata kuende aje simuachili <laughs> number one, i had even taught my son how to pray akiniona nilikuwa napiga magoti pale kana kuja nilikuwa namwambia ambia Mungu atupatie dadi mwenye akona pesa Number two, mwenye ako, ako na familia, ako na both mom and dad. Because me, I come from a family enye sina mama. Na nikuwa nimefunza hadi kuomba, 
akuwe na aunties yani baba akuwe na sisters unfortunately hana brother ako na sisters so me i saw a dream come true kwa sababu mtoto ashakubali as a single mother mtoto akishakubali mwanaume ila kwanga it is done and then vile utapenda huyo mtoto it will determine whether we love you or not so my child ali, alimpenda zaidi sasa mimi mpaka nilikuwa nashtuka kwani yao amwahi kutana mali ama what has just transpired because my son hadi akwa ako ka age hajawaita mtu daddy so wakati alimuona akamwita daddy nyinyi nimstuka akasema yeye ama uni illuminati <laughs> amekuja kuua mtoto wangu kwa sababu katoto wangu alikuwa keupe sana and very handsome so each and every person alikuwa anaambia no mtoto wake ni more handsome huyu mtoto ni more handsome so mimi niliona huyu jamaa ako na pesa na amekuja na matatu na anaanza kutupea pea pesa ovyo ovyo ni sacrifice huyu ni sacrifice anatafuta lakini sasa ju eh kwa nimeteseka proper nikoona we hebu pia mimi nicheze chini nione what will transpire next tushakula tushakunywa soda now there's a tv nikamwambia it was in another station so nibaldishie station fulani nishaanza kutoa authority kwa nyumba yangu ah, sasa si nile we unaniangalia tukicheza na mtoto yeye atashughuliki na tv So ni mimi ni kwataka ni watch kenye nataka mimi mwenyewe unaona Sasa kumwambia hivyo kaniangalia button ya TV imeharibika haizi change wanakaa na station moja akaniambia hii TV labda tubaiye remote Nienda ninunue nikamwambia pana tunaenda sisi wote sisi wote Si tukatoka nikahakisha matatu yangu sore gari yangu tukaenda akanipeleka mahali alikuwa anunue hiyo remote. Nao mimi nikamwambia zile pesa naona niko nazo hapa, usijui remote ni how much. Shika hii simu, najui iko na pesa. Nikampatia mpaka pin number. Kubuka ni siku ya kwanza tume meet. Nimempatia mpaka pin number ya Mpesa. Akastuka kwanza. Kaka Ivana. Eh. Hey. Sasa wa, akaenda ka na hiyo simu. Nao ameniacha na mtoto. Do you know what next? Poro amestuka. Poro amestuka kwa nini? Simu imeenda <laughs> na niameachua mtoto hii. Sasa mimi mtoto nitapeleka wapi? So afadhali hata aende na simu but ya kujia mtoto hii, jo simu naweza nunua ingi, ingine. So kana nimekaa tu hapo na stuka na cheza cheza na mtoto. Sasa na amenipenda. Sasa tunakaa kwa staring. Sasa na shida kufanya nini? Staring ni hivi kaa tumekaa tu yari kaa sijui alienda wapi na huko afa karudi he nilikuwa ni sweat na kulikuwa na giza kidogo but hai kutoka nasema <laughs> haleluya afadhali vile amerudi hata afadhali niambie simu imeibiwa na hapo nitaenda ninunue nyingi nyingine the foro yende no no now tunarudi kwa nyumba mimi sikuandaa kuingia kwa nyumba tena So mimi nikaweka hapo kwa gate. Mtoto anataka kutoka? Hataki. Sasa nikupiga maduru. Una yale mjaja akaacha viatu za mtoto hey, kwa gari. Bila mimi kujua. Azilete. Kujua. <laughs> so the following day nikienda kuangalia gari naona kuna viatu huko nyuma. Nikamwambia, "Eh, hey, mimi naona viatu hapa." Sasa nikafanya hesabu, kurudi kawagwale na kununua viatu. Nikaa nichipa, nikununua via, viatu kamtumia so tatu. Hapo nilimuuliza kanambia no 150. Natuma ikiwa so tatu. After three hours nimemnunulia lakini amekataa hizo viatu. Anataka urudishe zenye zake. Wewe unashangaa mtoto anaweza kutofautisha aje viatu. Eh, nilikuwa naenda Mombasa with the same same car. Nikamwambia acha tu nizilete. Badala hiyo acha nizilete. Kumbe walikuwa nataka kuniona tena kwani huko nataka kutuona nika nikarudisha viatu sasa afu mimi nikaenda zangu Mombasa after two days huyu mambo yake by the way ilianza hapo hapo ndio Mungu anakuja after tumeanza ku nini na yeye unaona sasa mambo ya pesa shida za pesa ameanza kuingia kwa heri unaona 
nikakumbuka ile nyumba haina meza nikamwambia si utoe nusu na mimi nitoe nusu sasa kana nirudi asa mimi nitatoa pesa wapi ya kipolo kama naume mnyana nini mimi nikatuma pesa zote na meza ikanunuliwa at dio siku nyingine nikirudi nisikulie mm. kwa carpet exactly no no <laughs> Na after kitu kama 3 days 2 days nimeenda Mombasa akapewa transfer tu kirogoya. Mimi nikajua huyu na mimi kisha. Ile gari ilikuja kuhamisha oh, kulikuwa na house manager. But he had her phone number. Kwa sababu niliwaambia I need both of your phone number. Jusimu yake ilikuwa mzuri kwa inaisha bet ya haraka sana. Wakati wamfika kirogoya simu yake sasa iko off sasa nitafute nani house manager though tuniweza communicate mume kula hapana natumia ile pesa ile mnunue chips kuku nini nini hivyo sasa mi wale yangu ilikuzia hapa akiwa pale kazini it after 3 days alikuwa na beta ku post aka post watu wanafanya kazi na yeye na zamani na another man yeye hapo in the middle acha ni jam kumbo ulikuwa unanipenda acha ni zama na ulikuwa kadogo ni sawa it doesn't matter lakini sasa mbona ukasirike nini post bana nilikuwa nishaanza ku invest na wewe <laughs> so i was fighting for my investment hello <laughs> <laughs> nikamwambia hapana hizo vitu na post post hapo mimi zitafanya tuachane eh nikarudi kwa nini tulishaanzana na yeye mimi nilikuwa nishajua nishaolewa eh juu hata amesahau kuna mtu mwenye rafiki yake alimpigia akiwa kwangu kawangware akamuuliza boss uko wapi akamwambia mimi niko kwa bibi yangu so mimi tayari mimi nilikuwa nishajua mimi ni bi wewe akatae wewe akubali mimi ndio bibi so mimi hata kuhama kirogoya i can say is god sent because when he came into my life vitu zilianza kubadilika on my side because that is the moment that i was given a promotion and uh, nikaambiwa nikuje Kirogoya na nikahamishwa na kampuni yenye nilikuwa nafanya nayo kazi but yeye yeah, alikuwa na hiyo mindset ya kuachana but mimi mi bado i knew kama kuna hiyo matatu yake bado anaweza toka from Nairobi kama alizunguka hivi kama kuna nyesha na nini nini akakuja mpaka Kawangware bado angekuja mpaka wapi paka Kirogoya yeah so me i was settled in my mind kabisa So I never wanted to lose that chance. So I deleted. Ni delete kama nimefurahia. Si ati ni delete kama at it was a force you must delete hapana. I deleted because nilikuwa najua there is something cooking at the back of his mind. Yeah. Kitu ya kwanza sijui kilogo ni wapi. Niko nafikiri ni mali very far so nikaanza kumuzugusha hivi kidogo kidogo na mwambie nakuja hii Saturday ikifika hiyo saa tu miskuzi so baada kumuzugusha like three weeks hiyo wiki ya tatu kabla ijaisha on friday nikarudi Nairobi ndio sana on saturday nitelemka wapi kirogoya mm. nao yeye anajua hii gari inaitwa anaita matatu ni sawa haina shida nikabandisha nao gari. Ndio sasa nikifika kule kama kuna any time nimefanywa. Because that time wakati gari zikuwa zinaibiwa sana. Nikajua labda huyu anatumika, niibiwe nini? Niibiwe gari. So nikajua 
ameelezea watu ni matatu ina ni gari na kaa hivi na hivi na hivi unaona naye mimi nimekuja another model upo so mimi nimekuja my dad kuna mtu nimeambia kwenye nimeenda na nimeshare the tracker in case nitoke within that area unjue kimeumana ama unipigie simu uone haigi <laughs> kwani ulikuwa umeni umeni ge jaji kama nilikuwa nakaa kawangware ama si mambo na kawangware as a human being lazima ukuwe na kale kauoga kiasi but unazio your time ni yenye ladies walikuwa natumika sana kusaidia ku watu kuibiwa magari ilikuwa hadi na kisu hiyo gari hapo ndio naelekea na the way you so small ukanibebea hadi kisu But in the case of any this we ought to come to hapo au take kuwa pia Can I fight for my life and for my life in Libya No but sasa na na try to imagine mm. the way I was so small huyu mtu alikuja na kisu kutoka all the way from Nairobi mpaka Kirogoya ah, with a knife tu sinajua dele mara na kaga hapa kwa sababu ni mahali pa kuweka kitu kisu iko hapo just in case of any vibacho Okay wakati sasa tumekutana sasa nikamwambia mahari niko ndio nione kama ni yeye atakuja ama ni watu wengine mm. so nikakaa mahari bali kidogo na nikashuka kwa gari nikakaa kando nikamwambia na bapritia gari just in case kama kuna watu watakuja nitaona ni kuwa mba ulikuwa mbali actually akanikaribisha kwake msichana yenyewe ashaanza kulia Nimeingia mtoto ameniita dad tena tume click. Alisema daddy umerudi tena. Yeah, umerudi tena. And he was so small. Amerudi kwa bedroom anaanza kulilia na huko huyu. Sasa amestuka tena mtoto hajanisahau. Unaona? Mara mwisho tulipata na mtoto kawangwale. Now this after four weeks ama three, ni three weeks eh? One month. After one month. Mm. Nimerudi bado ameniita daddy na tulionana usiku anapenda kulia machozo yake na kwa karibu sana huyu ama unataka nianze kulia hapa saa hii na mimi na kwa kwa very calm nikasema acha tu ninyamaze ushamweza kulia na ni the house manager akaenda akamconsult kidogo kamaliza kulia alafu sasa akakuja akiwa ako sawa kamuuliza kumuuliza nao why 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 are you crying ni sasa akanielezea haamini mtoto ameniita dadi tena siko anafikiria kama huyo mtoto anaweza kumkumbuka kwa sababu wakati hata tulihama alisio obviously alikuwa anaona wanaume huko mbona hawako anawaita dadi but wakati alimuona in fact ni aligonga sasa mimi sikusikia ni yako kalifungua mlango akamwambia dadi mm. umerudi tena mimi sasa nianza kushtuka what if ye yeah, wapendane na mtoto na labda mimi siko huko nitakuwa nime heartbreak nani mtoto but sasa the way he loved him and the way my son loved unajua mtoto huwa adanganyi mtoto hata awe mdogo aje ukikuja na intentions mbaya ama whatever that child will notice <coughs> but this one it was so genuine the love was so genuine kabisa na si ati huyu ana force no it came out natural so hapo ndio nilisema ni kama basu mtoto anataka niolewe na huyu mtu ama mm. anataka aje kwa sababu tayari mimi nilikuwa nisha fall in love but i was afraid for my son what if i get married to him and he he change he change in future in future sorry ama nipate mtoto nae aanze kupenda mtoto wake zaidi you see those stories huko sahi kusikia yeah ana mimi leona hapa Bi actually nilikuwa na <laughs> alazima mambo na kuzitoa. Nilikuwa nasikia anga bila tu naweza kuona unaogea na mtu. Ukitaka saa hii vizuri, tafuta demo kwa na mtu hii. Wanakuwa kama machua. Na mimi nikaona he sio kwa na mtu hii, na mtu hii amenipenda. Mimi na stick hapa. <laughs> Nikamuliza hii kejo nalipaga how much? Ilikuwa 6k. Kanibaka one bedroom. Ilikuwa 4000 actually kan urinigonga eh za juu 2k wewe ndeni nakata kwa dawa hii sawa 
Sasa nikamwambia takuwa tuna share na the cost. Ah. Nikaona ni kiena kirongoya lazima tuende kwa hotel na hoteli yenyewe nalipa a night 3000 that is Saturday na Sunday that is 6000. Kaona this is too much. 6 times 4 that is 24000. Ai ngambia hapana si tutafuta nyumba kubwa at least we share the, the cost. Tukapata nyumba na tukashare the cost mwezi wa kwanza. Wa pili wa jua niambia aje sasa tujaripo wewe lipa yote nda kurudishia. Tukaripa mwezi wa kwanza. Wa pili bado akanipatia the same same story. <laughs> wa tatu nikienda kulipa nikamuuliza akaniambia he mimi niliolewa. Eh. Hey, si nimeolewa sasa utafanya You don't expect me to share cost with you and when I was alone I was doing it now I am with you why do you want me to parent nimwambia we mimi nimeolewa ni parent at least jasauri ni goga 2k ni sawa ulikuwa unataka nifanye aje sasa maisha ikaendelea tu poa you see he's a calm man mi personality yangu koko huko juu kabisa so kabla nielewe na kabla nimuelewe juu hata tukikosana at times yeye huwa anatoka nje mimi sasa nataka kupiga manduru hata <laughs> ilikuwa vile tu naweza nataka kusurprise mtu unaona nakuja tu kama nimenyamaza nimetulia na mshika hivi na nyuma na nyamaziwa siku ngapi kumbili. Sasa tena nimemustua. Ah, mimi ni mzaza. Acha simu hapo. Chukua mtoto, ena na yeye tao. Hajui kwenye tumeenda. So siku nyingine hata jaribu. Atatafuta wapi? Hakuna. Akipiga simu anaona mahali nalia. Sasa yeye amenyamaza. Si tumeenda wapi? Ama ameiba mtoto. Ama ameiba mtoto. Ama ukweli ni Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> na mimi nikiera na huko, ila nikuze na kachokolate ama kadwis lazima nimleteka kitu tumejamiana atagalia una mimi ama twivi afu acheke najua ameingia box tena <laughs> so by the up to date me ufanya hivyo mm. so nimekwambia personality yake he's a calm man mi yangu iko huko juu kabisa so for him to fit in my shoes he he had to match my energy and i thank god tiktok came Ju sasa huko kwa nawaambia tutafanya hivi. Tukidance hivi niangalie nione bado namwambia hapana si hivyo turudie. Fanya hivi. Hata kwao watu wanastukanga sana. Is this Paul? Ju watu wa kwao wanajuanga Paul ni mnyamavu ni calm. Sasa wakati wanamuona hadi kwa videos zangu huwa wanashangaa sana. You mean alibad ali switch to mara moja i also realized mm. you also enjoy mm. but ni let me pia me i love dancing by the way kwanza nikikoka kama moga ni kitogo tu kamzika kale kakubwa kadogo anaweza kudance hapo ushindwe kwa nuni kiwete hapo ni mana stop boys ote pechoma sisi hata tukudai tunafaa uelewe hivyo mm. sisi tulichukuana na tukachukuana ni hivyo so mimi naweza sema bila alikuwa at first time mwanaume mwenye akona kacheji kidogo age mchukua eh yake wewe unapenda kunitusi yani bila alikuwa na kaka very slim 
Hapo unajua kwa Selin huku na huku. <laughs> but sick mind. Ah, huyu ni chakula unga. <clears throat> Tampatia na atakuwa atakuwa sawa. Mm. Hata sasa yeye ame reduce kidogo. Kwanza kusubua. Ah. Kwa nini? Hebu chuma hapa. <laughs> I have a business, it's called Paida Outfits. <coughs> His name is Paul. My name is Aida. So I saw it twice. It's quite selfish. At a business, ni yangu, ni yangu, ni yangu, apana. Mind you, he has been there since day one. So, we dis ilikuja kama mchezo. Nilimuambia Twitter ya JIB ya Shara. Tukaanza polida. Hai, tukaona hiyo polida haingiani. Tukaanza sijui pida kasema apana haingiani and he just came with that word paida na no, kasema iko na mimi nikasema chonjo chonjo ndio hiyo nikasema hiyo jina iko sawa sana na nikamwambia hii jina ilatupeleka very far but hapo kwa support kidogo mm. mkate kiasi akakuza na idea ananitaka dadi eh hey, dadi mimi nataka kuuza nguo Mwiza nguo ye, apana, eda shule ya kwanza. Shule ya, hii kitu wanafanya kwa ile ofisi. Na nikamuri, pia shule. <laughs> Na nikakula school fees. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa, nikaripu, ni, mimi mwenye nikaenda nikaripu the first school fees. Ya pili, akanebe si unitumie, jumwalimu anaitisha. <laughs> Anikamuuliza, anaitisha sae na tulipa juzi. Aa, anataka zingine diyo, tubuku mutiani na mapema 20000 20000 katuma shule yenyewe okay alisukuma mpaka mali alisukuma hapa kaniambia wakati tulika kaka naniambia have an idea na nataka kuuza nguo mpya mimi wa spingi akanipea 70000 nikaenda isili nikachagua 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 nikaweka pale kirogoya katengeza ka shop <coughs> he zikakunywa maji nguo aziendi again nimeogopa kumwambia <laughs> lakini sasa this time round nikakuja na ujanja nikawaambia mali penye nimeweka hizo manguo wanabomoa the shops wanabomoa kaniambia sasa utafanya aje tukwambie na kwanza uliniogopa pesa ya container unaebe kuna mtu anauza container useme kila kitu oh, so. So he has never been uh, tired with me kunisaidia ama nini. So I came with this idea. Nikamwambia I have this idea za kuuza nguo za mtumba. I would want to start selling rompers. Akaniambia eh, hey, hivyo eh. Hey. Bill ni pesa ngapi? Nikamwambia 30. Nikamwambia 30 ama 40. Unambia 40. 40. Nikamwambia 40. But I used 10,000. Hiyo ingine hiyo <laughs> hiyo that ingine nikaficha nikajua this time round kikiumana nitamrudishi sitakula nitamrudishia so i went in gikomba and picked few rompers za watoto nilianza from scratch i knew he has money and as i decided tena nitengeneze shop kila kitu but me i wanted to learn myself to learn uh, weaknesses ama strengths holes zangu ziko wapi so nilianza kutandika pale <coughs> kirogo ya chini kifika masaa masaa jioni mimi naenda na chandorua yangu natandika hapo chini ikifika masaya tuseme saa mbili saa tatu naenda kwa nyumba na uza live kwa tiktok vile tunajiita paida outfits na watu wengi walikuwa wananunua from wajia from hola from baringo now i did not know those places i was kind of naive So I used to ask him, "Jua msafiri sana, unajua wajia eh?" Shika nipeleke mzigo. Ananiuliza, "Delivery fee wewe ukifika, nitakutumia." <laughs> Nitakutumia. Akifika, masimu hata sishiki najua tu huyu. <laughs> Kumbe mimi nisha 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 kula delivery fee, but I knew he would he would send. So after three months again, I the business was good nikatafuta sasa shop a very small shop it was around 6000 or 7000 also i approached him again you see hajachoka 
I approached him again. Nikaambia hii nyumba akaniambia acha nikulipie miezi tatu. Akalipa 3 months. Nikafanya everything and nikaanza kuuza. Since Ju alikuwa ameshajua, ameshaona nyota inang'aa. Ndio maana alikuwa supportive. So my business it grow, it grow within a period of 1 year. Nimehama twice. That uh, nimehama twice kwa nyumba kubwa. That shows that the business is doing well. Plus is, he supports my business. Najua pale TikTok sisi ni tunapendwa sana ni makafiri. Tukiamua kufanya TikTok <laughs> tunafanya mpaka ina, ina postiwa kila mahali. And that's why people notice us and we don't do it so that at ko for sure off. for sure off. no we do it because we love what we are doing and marriage is never that serious mm. marriage is never that serious tumeona bwana yako watoto wanakimbia bedroom wewe usijui una fun una fun nimekwambia hata dawari iko yake she drive her dowry. You know, some of your is a good type of thing. ma dowry. Evi karibuni. Evi karibuni lini. Ni mbadilishi yo. Asi kumpole. Asa nona nao dowry itaku ime set wa free. Itapte vile itakuwa pesa. Na niyongeze kitu kidogo. Then. Akwe wago official. Yeah, aliniambia usikuwe na haraka. The day you will feel comfortable you want to give me a child, it's okay. So tulipata kengine kama huyu wako 6 years and I he's a photocopy of his dad. So hata tukiko sana, unyae. Kuna photocopy yake yeah, enda huko akifikiria ile investment yenye ameka. Nikalia. Ni nawe. Akiona ile investment yenye ameka Hapa nini? Anarudi mbio. Kitu wenye inamwezanga kabisa, kabisa. Nyati, <coughs> his parents loves me so, so much. Iyo sasa kiboko. Akisikia tuweko sana na natao kupigia mama. Wacha nikuje to solve. Even the sisters. Sana sana the, uh, uh, the second born. Anito Monica and Jerry. Huyo. Ata tuko sana ya aji. He will always be on my side. She will always be on my side. Na anajua. So hata kiko sana ya anajua kato kupiki. Ako kivya ki. Nina kwa kivya. Ya yeah, kwa kato kivya. Lakini ni kianza masimu hivi 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 hivi. Hata akiwa wapi. The sister must call him. Kwaza hiyo jina nataka ibadilishwe, ikuwe, ikuwe Aida Mwema. Mimi likupenda. Ili ulikuwa. Pamoza na mtoto mwenye ulikuwa na ye. Siku maidi. Kwa sababu mimi nazua. Mtoto si kidoda. Mtoto ni balaka. Nona? Ndiyo maana, ule mtoto mimi alta kwa wacha kufi. Two of us. True. Ama kumutusa, ama kumuambia vibara. Mm. Kwa sabi mnajua, it is a future. Na hii future, tazima tuwele pamoza. Na mimi, I cannot turn back. Hii safari ni shanza. Alezo ya mwenye ushuke. Nishuke But, nienda api? Ani kuongea. Anilezo ya ushuke. But mi sezi shuka. <laughs> But, ngeoba, kututawili, kidogo kiasi, Tuwekeza hila kama ni kamoja, at least, na mimi ni furaie. Juneza kata kasichana ni kaita mamangu. Tutuongea. Tutuongea? Mm. Afaya ni kuhongi kiasi. Tutuongea. Kuhongi? Mm-mm. Anyway, mimi na wewe mpaka mwisho, and I love you so much. And I love you too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Chuma pa. Mm-hmm. Pong mwema kehara. Yes, me as they call you in your home area. Gade, Gade. 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 Zachary, ananitaga hivyo pia. Eh. Kuna mungina naitua Bensi, Collins, Shanlock. Gade. Gade.
<laughs> Excuse me, me bossy bossy. Bossy bossy. Uh, I love you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for supporting me in each and every way. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving my son. Even when he, when we have uh, difficult times, you always come back to us. Not that you are doing a favor into my son's life, into Jason's life. Mm -hmm. No. Uliamua kumpenda na hakuna ile siku yenye tutakaa chini ni muonyeshe baba mwingine since he was one and a half he knows you as the father he loved you naweza kuwa nimemkosea sana nikaweza shuka vile umesema ni muonyeshe kwingine naweza kuwa nimementa nimetocha akili yake vibaya sana ama nimetomenta kilia huyo mtoto vibaya sana despite everything i will always be on your side i will always hold you i love you i cherish you i appreciate you may god increase your pockets akutoe from point a to point b and at least kuna mtu atasemanga since ashikane na aida mm -hmm aliyetoka from tulikuwa tunajua Paul akiwa hivi na sasa tumemjua akiwa hivi so it is my joy to see you prospering and getting to your desired place i love you so much and may god bless you